Well, first, I would like to give a huge shout out of congratulations to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, the Doobie Brothers. Uh, I'm super proud. A lot of people ask me if it bums me out that this happened after my dad passed away. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Uh, it makes me a little sad. But the thing is, he wasn't an awards kind of guy. I don't feel like this would have been that big of a deal. I know he would have been honored, but he wasn't really an award seeker and neither is the rest of the band. Like, as far as human beings go, the Doobie Brothers are the most humble, grateful, family-oriented, loving people I've ever known in my life. And I'm not just saying that because they're my family. Uh, they, they really are. And I'm sure that, well, I know that they're taking this in stride and it's not, you know, some huge deal. It's a big deal but not the biggest. What matters, I think, to all of the band uh, most is their families. Uh, they're really hardworking and they're all just family people and we love each other. The thing that bums me out is um, I just wish I could call my dad, you know, and tell him congratulations and ask him how he feels about this. So, told myself I wasn't gonna cry. Alexa, turn off my feelings. <laughs> that that kind of worked. Um, growing up, I didn't even know that they were famous. It's really funny because, you know, they didn't act famous to me. You know, I still got grounded and was told what to do <laughs> and, you know, treated like a child because I was. And uh, I remember they when they broke up when I was little, it was sad because that whole thing, when it was like, what do you mean we're not going on tour in Hawaii this summer? Would I have to hang out with kids my age? I don't have anything in common with those people. And then when they got back together, it was after that that I kind of realized, oh, they're famous. Because you know, when I was a little kid, like m my friends didn't know who they were. None of my friends would come over and know that my dad was in a band. Their parents did, my teachers did, grown-ups did, but uh, it wasn't something that my friends really knew or that I was really even aware of. We just had a very normal, albeit dysfunctional, but a happily and hilariously dysfunctional family. So when they got back together and I was a teenager, I think it was when I was in high school, my friends were, were go, would go, oh, are you going to the show? Can we go with you? And I was like, you wanna go? Really? You know, I grew up into punk rock, so I just, it wasn't a big deal to me. And then all my friends, you know, who were into classic rock and stuff like that, wanted to go with me. So then I started going to more shows. And it was around that time that I realized what a good band they are. Like, I'm not just saying that, they're the most talented people I've ever seen. Sometimes, because I'll go see classic rock bands, and sometimes it's like, oh my God, you should have quit like 30 years ago. You can't sing anymore, or you can't play anymore. They just get better and better, and it's so impressive. And you know, I never thought of my dad as a rock star. Like I said, we were home, it was about his horses, and me and my mom, and his motorcycles, like very normal, but there was one part where I knew my dad was a rock star. And that was during Long Train Run-In, there was this drum battle that used to happen between him and my Cossack. And it floored me every time. I mean, I feel like that's what Lisa Marie Presley felt like when she was like, that's my dad. Um, I mean, I would stand up on the chair and be like, that's my dad, you know, because the drums were just so powerful and to be able to play with two, two drummers the way they did. And I was just always so impressed and I thought it was the greatest thing. And then when that moment was over, back to normal life. Like, he's my dad. He's the same guy who taught me how to light a fart. Which is a funny story. He actually did teach me how to light farts um, a little too close to a curtain when I was 10 years old. My mom walked in on that. It's completely true. That's not in the behind the music either. But yeah, one more thing that, um, that comes to mind is how much my dad loved me in a way that I don't think I'll ever deserve. He was the coolest guy in the world. People would say, Keith's your dad? And he would always correct them and say, no, Dana's my kid. And um, I'm just so lucky to have grown up with somebody who treated me like that. And he treats everybody like that. So I think all the Doobies bands will agree, you know, and all the band, like he treated everybody like that. So 
I just, I wish I could call him and say congratulations. And since I can't, I just want to say, I love you to the Doobies fans who voted and made this happen. And I love you to my Doobie uncles. I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations.